Hello everyone, Mr. Murky here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use custom themes uh, and put them into your project to make them look a lot nicer than what this default one looks like now. Um, all I've done here is create a new project just to show you uh, how it's done. Um, and another thing is, if you're going to be using one of these custom themes, you're better off starting off like doing the theme first. If you've already got parts of your tool done, you're going to have to replace it with all the new parts of the theme. So if you're already work in progress, you might as well not use a theme now. Um, start from fresh like, like I am. Uh, so I'll link this thread in the description, but there's like a whole thread of lots of themes uh, all in the one thread. So you can come down, just have a look at um, what ones you like. Um, they've got all got screenshots and stuff. A uh, personal favourite of mine is black UI theme. So if we just go to the original thread of this one. Um, as you can see it's like a nice like a nice theme. It's like it's like simple, really nice. I like it anyway. Um but yeah, if you want like the source code for this or want this theme, uh, usually they'll put it down here, but if you want this one in particular, you've got to click the image and it'll take you to uh, a raw paste bin with all the, the the source code and stuff. So you just want to control A and copy all of this. All of this code here. If you come into your Visual Studio uh, project, if you come up to project and add a Windows form, uh, we're not going to be creating a Windows form. If you come on to class, uh, you want a common items class and just rename this, I'll un rename it flat UI so I know what it is. You press add. Uh, now to generate a piece of code, you want to remove this piece of code and then paste in all of the code we've just copied from the paste bin. Uh, so once you got that, you just want to save all of that. Uh, and just maybe build it to be sure. Um, if you switch back over now to the design of the form and open up the toolbox, if you come up to the top, you should have theme testing, or theme testing is the name of the project, but it will be the name of your project here. And inside here is uh, all the components for the new theme. Um, so to actually add the theme onto this one, you want to look for the form skin. Uh, so in this theme in particular, it's form skin, but other themes may be different, like form background, um, design components. It's all different, but uh, if you see these are buttons, just the one that isn't usually in the toolbox, so yeah, skin, you just drag that onto the form, and there you go, you've got this um, theme now. If you look on here, we've got this. Now we just need to add like the components in. So to do that, we just go to the toolbox again. If I wanted a button, I'll just add in a button. And all this is like the colors of all this. It's all changeable down here in the side, in the properties. So yeah, we've got the flat button, um, text box. We've got all of this. If you just debug this now to see. Here we go, here's the form, button, text box. That's all working. The only thing is, I don't think there's an exit button on here. Uh, so I'll just uh, debug, stop debugging. Um, so yeah, that's really it. All you need to do is create a new class, really. And then just drag the theme in. And that is all it is to it. So if you did like this video, please be sure to like and comment. And I'll see you next time.